Breaking news, confusion as Vice President Yemi Osibanjo and Gambari Rose clash at Emir of Kano correlation. Coronation. Hello, my wonderful people. The vice president of this country, I'm sorry to use the language, but I mean, it is what it is, is a spare tire. Because uh, even the chief of us, uh, even the personal aide to President Muhammad Buhari has more influence, more power than himself. Buhari is not around. They went for the coronation of um, the Emir of Kano. Why they were there, my dear, you will see how they don't use the vice president. They don't use Ante Du. Ah, I don't want to use the word, say boy, boy. Vice president can't they talk. Uh, Gambari himself, Ibrahim Gambari too, wants to talk. Eh? Not be, I'm telling you, vice president of the country, oh, there are two rules can't clash. You can't be like, say, eh, and I may be vice president, I may be, I may be next to Buhari. And this one saying, I may be Buhari, eh, Gambari. You know, I mean, this was what happened. 2020 March, when uh, the former, uh, pers the person who's, who was occupying Gambari's position went to a, to a meeting that Buhari was supposed to attend, contracted COVID and died. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you. God bless you. Breaking news. Confusion as Osiba and Joe Gambari will clash at Emir of Kanu's coronation. The role of the Vice President Professor Yemi Osibanjo, Gambari, Chief of Staff to President Muhammad Buhari, clashed at the coronation of Halaji Aminu Adu Bayero of Kanu on Saturday. Bayero, the 15th Emir of Kanu, received his staff of office on Saturday. The High and Mighty attended the program, which had with fanfare. There was a mild drama when the Minister of Ceremony, MC, invited Gambari, who is also an uncle to the Emir, to deliver a goodwill message. Gambari, who led the delegation to the event, announced to the crowd that he was reading it on behalf of President Muhammad Buhari. His remark contradicted the previous announcement by the MC, who had earlier referred to Sibanjo as the representative of the president. Nobody knew exactly who was representing the president because they both have two different speech saying they are representing the president. In the message read by Gambari, he quoted Buhari as extra vagant with, with regards to the late Emir of Kano and the father of the current Emir, who he described as a man of remarkable culture and principle. I remember with notchousness the passion and commitment and also the exhibition of pursuit of any cause he believes in and despite the character almost cost him his life prematurely on january 19 2013 because of his viciousness stand against the Haram and terrorists he said your toiling is is well appreciated because it's happening at a time when the history of our country when the prevailing society and political conditions result with the ascension to the throne of your friend your father, the late Emir, when it was turned for Sibanjo to speak, he also said he was representing the president and there was a little drama as the crowd was confused who was actually representing the president. Speaking in Hausa to chair, chairing of the crowd, the vice president reiterated the popular saying of Kanu people that Kanu Koda read it in Hausa, which closely translates as whatever you arrive in Kanu, the city is your people, you will surpass it. We are all proud of this city, proud of its legacy of tolerance and wants, and this remains the home for all Nigerians, he added. So the vice president clearly, I don't know if he has also been indoctrinated into the Fulani regime, but the vice president seemed to be going very well, you know, himself and the whole Fulani thing. He seemed to be doing quite well on that regard, on that ground. Yeah, the vice president seems to be enjoying the whole attention he's getting from the north. If you get what I mean, he's really, really getting a lot of attention, you see. And uh, I don't know where this is stemming from, but really, the vice president seems to be very much enjoying it. You know, because he's been going to the north very often now. And when he goes, they entertain him. In fact, he's calling Kano the home of all Nigerians. One could say it's just a speech, but when he goes to other region, he does not behave the way he's behaving. Now, that is to tell you that even if the vice president becomes the president of the country today, don't you think the North will still have him in their pockets? 
just a question because you know if you look at Osiba and Joe very well, his disposition towards the northern and right now, you know, is rather very you know what Buhari should be doing to the whole of Nigeria. But Osiba and Joe is more heartwarming, welcoming than the you know who we have as president, who is rather dividing the nation. So when you look at everything that is happening, you understand that there is serious cause for concern in Nigeria today. The country called Nigeria is in a serious dilemma and think and things needs to change. If it does not change, then I mean we don't know where we are headed. There was a, a, a mean a ceremony in a, in Kanu where the, a new emir was you know installed. Yeah, goodness, thank God. But chief of uh, chief of staff to President Muhammad Buhari came, said he was reading Buhari's speech. Vice President also came, said he's reading Buhari's speech. So how many people are representing Buhari? Can you see that uh, they are both confused or they are all confused as people began to wonder exactly what is going on? Who is representing the president? Eh? You send one message twice, the same message, when the people are not deaf, when it's not a when it's not WhatsApp message, eh? when it's not as if there's network or your, your data has been uh, affected or something. Can you see that the receiver's cause for concern? We who are we, we are we who is the who is the vice of the country? What are what are what are what powers uh you know uh, uh, uh does he have and how can he help Nigerians? What what level of uh you know how can he really help Nigerians? What's happening? Where are we? Where are we going as a nation? What's the way forward with all that is happening now? What's the really way forward? If we, don't, if we cannot answer these questions, then there is serious cause for concern. If we cannot answer these basic questions, these are some of the basic questions we must answer. If we can't answer them, no, 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 there is serious for cause for concern. You see, this is why Nigerians cannot be quiet and pretend that all is well. For starters, all is not well. You and I have got a duty to ensure that our voices are heard. We must continue to speak against especially evil going on. We cannot be quiet and pretend that all is well. You know, we must stand up for integrity, for truth, and demand for our right and say it as it is without fear or favor. If we do, then we know that we have positioned ourselves for a better tomorrow and for something to come out of it. But if we don't, we have just allowed these people to continue to feel that they've gotten everybody into their pockets. You know, because, I mean, what is really happening in this country today? There is so much oppression in the land. Is that how it ought to be? People can no longer speak. People can no longer talk. Intimidation order of the day. Leave us a comment. Please don't forget to like or share, subscribe. God bless you. Bye for now.